LG may have pioneered ultra-wide monitors over three years ago, but it's taken them until now to offer a fully fleshed out product line catering to gamers. Introducing the 34UC89G-B. As much as we make fun of other brands for shit, like Republic of Gamers, anything is better than 34UC89G-B. Anyway, it's their first ultra-wide to offer G-Sync and a high refresh rate. We're talking 144 hertz, overclockable up to 166 hertz. But is it worth your money? Only one way to find out. Savage Jerky is created without the use of nitrates or preservatives. Use offer code LTT to save 10% through the link in the video description. The angular crimson streak stand kind of says it all. This monitor is for gamers with a capital G. It's got about five inches of height adjust, 25 degrees of tilt, and like many LG stands, no swivel. It does give you three degrees of rotation though, in case your jerk coworkers decide to troll you. So that's something. The refreshingly easy to access IO panel has just one HDMI 1.4 in, one DisplayPort 1.2 in, and an audio jack. Then we get a USB Type-B upstream port to power the integrated hub with two USB 3 Type-A ports with fast charging. It apparently also has an integrated mouse bungee that helps your organize your space. A claim that I'd be happy to validate for you if only our unit actually came with it. The IPS panel is really nice though, with accurate colors, great coverage of the sRGB color gamut, and high contrast with higher than average 300 nit brightness. You could do some basic content creation on this thing for your Let's Play videos, for example. But what's it like to game on it? Well, in a word, swee. As with all curved ultrawides, the expanded field of view offers not only a higher degree of immersion, but sometimes even an advantage in games where spotting an enemy or an objective a uh, half a second before the competition can make a difference. The five millisecond gray to gray response times minimize ghosting and for everyone running Nvidia graphics, G-Sync keeps the panel's refresh rate tuned to the FPS coming out of your graphics card to eliminate tearing and stuttering. And finally, Yes, the monitor runs at 144 hertz, meaning the image on screen refreshes 144 times per second, 44% higher than the fastest ultra wide that we've had in the lab previously. And it's even overclockable, up to 166 hertz, though your mileage may vary. Every individual panel overclocks a little bit differently and ours wasn't a spectacular overclocker. Now. 16 by 9 monitors are available with refresh rates of up to 240 hertz at this point. But unless you're a global elite or some BS, the odds of feeling a difference between 144 hertz and 240 hertz versus the night and day difference between 60 hertz or even 100 hertz and 144 is relatively slim. So with this product, you're not choosing between smoother on-screen animations and ultra-wide immersiveness. You can have both, which doesn't mean that it's without compromises. I have a confession to make. I was super pumped for this monitor to arrive because for whatever reason, I thought it was running 3440 by 1440 resolution at 166 hertz, which would have meant that it was using the shiny new DisplayPort 1.4 standard. And yes, that is what excites me. I've got no shame about that. So then when it arrived and it was 2560 by 1080, I went through all the stages of grief. Denial. No, no, it can't be. Guilt, maybe I saw 144 hertz, I thought 1440p, oh God. And even anger, they've had 1440p ultra wides for years. Why are we going backwards? Until finally I reached acceptance. Because depending on who you ask, the lower res could be considered as much a feature as it is a problem. 
A lower resolution makes it easier to get higher frame rates in games. A 1080p ultrawide is just over half the number of pixels of a 1440p ultrawide. So if you're not going to be able to play Doom at 150 frames per second, 3440 by 1440 resolution, then why pay for all of those pixels? Better to drop the resolution, increase your graphics settings, and enjoy your buttery smooth golden river of frames. So then, with that said, should you buy this monitor over, say, the Acer Predator X34, a similarly priced, similarly featured in that they both have G-Sync and IPS panels ultra-wide with a higher resolution, but a slower refresh rate? <sighs> that depends. If you're all about the games, especially fast-paced ones, then it's pretty easy to recommend this one. Ultra-wide is an awesome experience, but if you do a lot of anything else, in my opinion, 1080p at this size is pretty pixely looking, and I'll personally still be waiting excitedly for these features in a higher resolution model. Dollar Shave Club delivers a game-changing shave. You can get high-quality blades and amazing shave butter delivered to your door for an incredibly smooth shaving experience. So before, you had to go to the store, look at the wall of razors that were like expensive and gimmicky and full of stuff you didn't need. And then you had to go find someone to like unlock the stupid thing. Nope, nope, forget about that. You no longer have to step foot outside in order to look good enough to step foot outside they deliver them right to your door. And for a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver Shave Butter for only five bucks with free shipping. That's a $15 value for five bucks. Then after that, razors are just a few bucks a month. Head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to check out this offer now. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, hit the dislike button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. And don't forget to check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, also linked in the video description.